let's solve this equation for x and x is going to be in let's say that x is let's say that they want the solution between 2 pi 0 and 2 pi whoops 0 and 2 pi and it would be written like that notice that 0 is included if that's a solution 2 pi and 0 are the same thing right on your unit circle there's 0 and also 2 pi but we and so if my answer let's say my answer was pi over 6 it could also be 13 pi over 6 and it could also be 25 pi over 6 or whatever as I, if I keep going around 12 pi over 6 I could keep getting answer after answer after answer that's why they tell you a lot of times just in one revolution of the circle okay so let's find that so this is this times this equals 0 which means 3 tangent squared x minus 1 equals 0 or tangent squared x minus 3 equals 0 now I solve each one of these, I'm going to skip a couple steps. So tangent equals plus or minus 1 over the square root of 3. And tangent equals plus or minus, tangent x I should say, tangent x equals plus or minus the square root of 3. Notice that I put the plus or minus sign in front of it because I'm taking the square root. Whenever you take the square root of the problem, you need to put the plus or minus sign in. That's a common mistake people make. Now the question is where, where does where does the tangent equal 1 over root 3 or negative 1 over root 3 or root 3 or negative root 3? Where are those places? Well, let's look at our unit circle. And let's erase this first of all. On our unit circle, the tangent, remember, is the sine over the cosine. So where is the sine? What's the tangent of, for instance, pi over 6? It's the sine, 1 half, whoops, 1 half over the cosine root 3 over 2 and when I flip and multiply the 2's cancel I get 1 over root 3 so what is the tangent of this it's 1 over root 3 which is just root 3 over 3 which is the same as root 3 over 3 but I'm not going to write it like that right now because it doesn't really matter for this problem that doesn't really matter because they don't want me to write this out they want me to write this out so where else is the tangent 1 over root 3? Well, it's negative 1 over root 3 over there. It's positive 1 over root 3 here. And it's negative 1 over root 3 there. So all four of those are solutions. But that's not all. Because it's also, notice that I also have, where is the tangent equal to plus or minus root 3? And those would be, I'll change colors, those would be all of these spots because this would be just the reciprocal of this same thing that divided by that is just going to equal square root of 3 this is negative square root of 3 this is square root of 3 this is negative square root of 3 so all of these are also your answer so your answers are pi over 6 5 pi over 6 7 pi over 6 11 pi over 6 let's write those down I'll change color back your answers are pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. Because they all those are all the angles that have a reference angle of 30 degrees, or pi over 6. And also, for this one, your answers are all the, all the angles that have a reference angle of pi over 3, which are pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. That's a 5 right there. Now how can I check this answer? Are all 8 of these answers? I can check them all by plugging them back in here and here using the store button in your calculator and using the second equal second equal to make sure that it works and you'll see that that's one little note when you do that make sure that you type this in as tangent x squared like that, because that's what that is. All right, good luck.